Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Homs. Okay, we're going to use we're going to do a um, tutorial in Blender 3.6 on the swimming pool animation. We have our cube in front of us, and um, we're going to want to just delete this default cube. We're going to do everything in Blender. So we're going to select our default cube and delete it. Then we're just going to go ahead and press seven on our numpad. Then I'm going to hit Control Alt Zero. This is my preferred perspective view. Where the x is on the x-axis and the y is on the y-axis and the z is moving towards the monitor or away from the monitor okay so now we have this we're just going to go ahead and add a plane all right so shift a add a plane and we're going to press s to scale up i'm going to press gy i'm going to press sx that means scale on the x-axis and just drag this across the camera frame and there's gx make sure it covers the entire camera frame here Cool, let's take a look at that. That's a good distance too. Cool. Then we're gonna go ahead and add another plane. And with this plane now, we're gonna scale it on the Y. And then we're gonna scale it on the X. Let's scale it down on the X. Scale it down, scale it down, scale it down to about here. Um, well, let's make it slightly wider. I'm just going to just zoom in, press tab to go to edit mode, and I'm going to hit Ctrl and R. And Ctrl and R is going to make um, loop cuts. And we're making a few loop cups here. Um, not, how many loop cups are going? We're going to making about 14. You can see the amount of loop cups in the bottom left of the screen. So we have 14 loop cuts here. I think that's about right. That's about okay. Go cool. with the 14 loop cuts. Let's press A. To select everything again, I'm going to create some more loop cuts, but this time on the horizontal. Cool. And for the horizontal loop cuts, I think four is okay. Uh, let's just do five for good measure. But if you have problems with your computer, you can always do four. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. And then we're just going to color this white. So we're going to go to new, use nodes. And in use nodes, we're going to go to emission. Make this white. Let me go over to material mode. It should show me white. Yeah, it's white. Cool. Just going to move it to the edge about here. And then we're going to go to the modifiers tab. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to go ahead and add a um, array modifier. And we're just going to increase this array modifier to I don't know what's this one like let's try 30 see how it looks and then we're going to increase the factor to space them out okay this looks about okay all right it's a bit it's a bit a lot so it's it's a bit too much so let's just um, reduce it here and bring it across reduce it once more 22 bring it across awesome okay next we're going to add a displace modifier and this displace is what's going to help us to get that that sort of wobbly um distorted um look like how those lines look under underwater these guidelines for under pools cool so we have the displace here and we're going to have a new material cool and in that new material um, we're going to go down to the textures to set that new material when i press go to type i'm going to stay STUCC which is Stucy. Cool. And then we want to change the let's see, we want to change the size to 1.9. Or I think I have 1.9. And we want to change the turbulence to 3.5. Cool. And we want the we want to go back to the modifier and we're gonna change the direction for this modifier i think it's is it along the y no i think it's along the x sorry let's take a look oh no uh we have to change this to object cool and the direction is going to be on the x direction right so we're on the right direction and um 
the x direction and then we're going to just add an empty now because we want to control the turbulence so we're going to just click here just set our 3d cursor about here that looks about right i'm going to hit shift and a and we're going to add an empty so i prefer sphere empties like i have, i'm sure i've mentioned before don't like the other ones but to each their own so we're going to select the object here and the object's going to be this empty so that's in the display texture there so we move this up and down we're seeing that we're getting some nice um, wave kind of effects on the lines but it's a bit weak so we're going to increase the strength in the displace modifier i'm going to increase it to eight let's take a look at that yeah and this already as we move it procedurally we can see that this this wave here is looking really really nice it's looking like a water wave right so this is the hor this is the vertical one we're going to add the horizontal so we're going to duplicate these lines with shift and d then we're going to go r z and 90 just to put this her arm to put them horizontally we're going to go over to the array we're going to reduce the count uh maybe 15 is good yeah i think 15 is okay and we're just going to scale it by pressing s and x scale it on the x-axis cool now we move our mt we can see we get this wave effect if it's a bit hard to tell because of the outside we can select our camera and then we can go over to the camera option go over to viewport display and where it says pass pass a pass part out pass part out right we can increase this to one and that will block out everything we select our empty press zero to go back and we can see that it does indeed look like a pool so all that's really left now is to add the colors and we're going to add some center rows as well all right so let's go ahead and add some colors to this um for the preview i used this color which was um what was this color again let me see what this color was just checking for the color i can't remember the hex value i use the hex value oh see the hex value here and uh, it's just imported new material we're going to make it emission and in the hex it's a hex of 46 c7 f0 yeah i think that's the hex this already has a white to it okay so we're gonna go over to the i think it's on filmic so we're gonna change this from filmic so we're gonna go over to the render we're gonna go over to color management and we're going to change from filmic to standard that way we can see the true color of the blue and then for this next part now we're just going to create some center lines just to sell the pool the pool effect a bit better so we're just going to duplicate the uh, vertical lines with shift and d and um, with that duplication we're just going to go ahead to our modifiers tab we're going to change this count to three and we're just going to press tab to go to edit mode make sure all of the nodes are selected with a and then you're just going to scale on the x make these bigger i think this is a good size too and we're just going to hit g and x and bring them to the center and let's see if we can bring down the factor a little bit i think this is about okay good then we're just going to hold our middle mouse button and come out of the camera view if you're in camera view and we see that everything's on the same plane so we're just going to go ahead and just bring some of these down i'm going to press g and z to carry down the pool itself and then we're going to set press g and z to bring down the pool lines the thick pool lines and then we can also separate the the thin pool lines from each other so that we render we don't have any artifacting or any strange behavior i think this looks okay and then we just need a color for these now so in my preview i use these colors here just get the hex for you cool 
so we have this hex now and um, let's go to the material paste it here whoops have to give its own material gonna go to object relations single user materials and this will make sure that this white material here this emission material is different from the other materials on the other lines of the pool that's going to paste the hex which is 005d ff and it's this kind of blue right here cool and um that gives us this pool effect really really nice so if we come out and just bring this up you can see we have the pool effect cool and then we're going to add a radial blur or a vignette on the pool itself so that we can get a bit nicer of a viewpoint my pool lines are kind of thick but you can make yours thinner but it's good for youtube for to have it fixed so that it's easier to see but you should make yours thinner i think you'll get a nicer effect and the preview also has the pool lines thinner so you can thin them out just press tab and um thin them out in edit mode as you would see fit you probably just sx sy sorry for the horizontals and you'd get thinner lines in fact you know what let me just go ahead and do that let's just make the lines slightly thinner Uh, the fit the thick lines are kind of bothering me a bit just make them a bit thinner cool and then make these a bit thinner um sx and just bring that bring up the factor a bit yeah yeah much prefer this a bit thinner okay let's go ahead and add the vignette now so i'm going to select the plane duplicate press g and z to bring it to the top then i'm going to go to object relations make single user and i'm going to use materials cool so this way this top material this is not affected by the bottom one um it's its own material then we're going to go to the shading view i'm going to go to the render view because I don't like that green background I think it just confuses me sometimes then we're just going to detach the emission I don't want to completely delete it because I want to keep the hex value we're going to go and add some nodes now so the first node we're going to add is the gradient coordinates or the coordinate gradient let me just see if I can find it here coordinate cool the second one we're going to add is mapping. The next one we're going to add is gradient texture because we want it to be a gradient. It's going to be radial. And then the next one after that is a ramp. Cool. We're going to add a transparent shader. So that's transparent BSDF. And we're going to add a mix node, a mix shader, sorry. And we're going to add that here. Cool. So with this, let's go ahead and add it. We're going to use the object, put the object to the first vector, change point to texture. Let me just zoom in so that you can see it. Change point to texture, vector to vector, color to FAC, color to the bottom shader going to take the transparent green um, shader dot and we're going to put it here I'm going to put the shader into surface you're going to see the gradient come up I'm going to change it from linear to um, spherical and that's the vignette that we want we can see the vignette up top awesome and then we're going to just go ahead and add this color here so we're gonna make sure that from the emission, we're gonna make sure that the um, the colors on both sides of the ramp. So for the black and for the white, we're gonna make sure that both of them are the blue. Whoops, let me just get this blue again. Copy and come to this black. Make sure both of them are blue. Cool. Make, put the alpha to the FAC because we want to use alpha here 
and what we want to do is um, we want the white which I think is the center to have a zero alpha we're going to navigate to the material option here and we're going to make the blend mode um, alpha blend and that shows us this wonderful vignette that we have here cool and that, that's a really nice effect here and that gives us this kind of blurred effect in the water that as we move further away from the center we get this we see that the lines kind of disappear and then I think for my option now I did not like the um, I wasn't so happy with how sharp the vignette was so I added a brightness I think a brightness and contrast node so let's add that um, brightness and contrast and just put it between the gradient texture and the color ramp and I have I think a negative zero okay so I think I have a negative 0 0.2 and um, that's negative 0 0.2 uh, I think that's a bit too harsh negative 0 0.2 and a negative 0 0.5 cool and um, that gives us a much smoother um, gradient for the radial um, than um, what we had before I think I prefer this thing the other one was a bit too sharp here's a look at the difference that's this one really sharp and this one is a, is a lot more a lot smoother cool and um, yeah if we come out of this and go to our empty GY we have our pool effect and it's looking really nice so you saw the rig part of this tutorial that will be in a later tutorial I think about two tutorials from this one so not next week Tuesday but next week Friday you'll see the rig for this and um, yeah uh, Pool animation tutorial okay thank you for watching this tutorial the pool animation blender 3.6 tutorial um, I hope you enjoyed it hope you gained some valuable information for it the tutorial is half and then there's another half of the rig so in patreon you only get the block blend files as of now when the rig comes and you can get things like .svg files and .blend files and um, a bit more of a full complete package but when the week comes you'll get that in the patreon feed so you can go ahead to the patreon you can find in the top right hand um, part of the youtube screen you can find that link there or you can go to my website and find the patreon link at the bottom of the website page and um, you can become a patreon there to support my work cool so until i see you again with another tutorial get up and design a new dawn. Later.